without giving thanks and appreciation and say, thank you, bring me more. That is the magic source that you can manifest and create and be and have whatever your heart desire. Another tip. We now, Shasha now, we're now in New Orleans to celebrate our global leadership celebration. Katie says that over and over again in the gym training and the Success Master Course live training, especially one in Australia ones that I highly endorse you to listen, but he also revealed in those audios his DNA pattern. Just figure that out. If you want to know his DNA pattern, it's in that audio. The nugs of gold are hidden. They are in plain sight. The best way to hide secrets are in plain sight, right? But tip I can give you. We are here in New Orleans, in the craziness, in the madness, you know. Dancing, crazy people, going free, letting loose. One of the secrets for all the elites, sick families, the rich and famous and wealth, they all behave proper. Good day, my name is Johan Henrik, so delightful to meet you. They're very proper. But when they go to their extreme parties, they let loose. Because when you free your feet, you free your mind. A flexible body creates flexible mind. And vice versa, you need to move. Moving particles, emotions, feelings. And just dance. Every time you don't feel good, start dancing like a madman woman or madman. Express, dance, sing out loud. And the magic moment is that you don't freaking care what other people think about you. Then you are free. I don't care what other people think about me. Because I know when I do the right, facts don't count. I am the creator of my reality. And I do whatever it takes to feel good now. Because I know I don't do no harm to any other sentient being. I do it all for the kindness and compassion for all humanity every day and every way. Because if you have the opportunity and you don't feel good, your new one goal is to feel good now, or at least feel better. And dancing and singing on your favorite song can raise your vibration. That's why in this weekend, we're going to let loose, going crazy, go bananas, do things we have never done before. Because who cares what happens here stays here. Even that's challenging these days with social media. <laughs> right? But if you understand, some of you that don't understand, you will condemn and criticize, like, oh, they like crazy, they fruitcakes, they, they do weird things. Of course, we know that is a very nugget of gold and secret. When you let loose and completely forget about what other people think about you, and you don't care. You don't freaking care what other people think or consume or say or think about you, and you just express yourself freely, you break free. Because your soul will go come and express it to you. And that is the magic. Let loose. Make a commitment at least once a week. Let loose. If you're not comfortable in public, do it at home. Let loose. But I let loose almost every day. On the street, in public, I don't care. You know why? Because people think that one is crazy and they want to make all the room in the world. But I don't care because my light every day and ever is so bright that whatever darkness or condemn or criticizing they have, it will dissolve because I'm just a messenger, a facilitator that they can switch on their light. Are you a messenger? Are you a facilitator? Or are you a preacher? Stop preaching, people! Stop it! Be a facilitator. Guide them in their own aha moments, their own inner moments, their own moments that they need. But you guide them every day and every way. You're just planting seeds, fertilizing. You are a farmer. Don't be the wise one that you that all know. Oh, I know. If you do that and that, you become better. People do not take orders from anyone. They only ultimately take orders from themselves. But that can happen if you facilitate, right? Because you can go dancing together, dream building, doing fun activities. One thing, and I will get more in that next week. A mastermind is not a talk about your crap and your numbers and issues, what you need to fix in your life. A mastermind could be a dream building exercise. You're going out and dream building, testing cars, driving cars, fancy clothes and jewelry and all those things and just having fun, looking for the good, looking for the gold in every moment. That's a mastermind. It's a positive intention. If you want to address any issues or concerns or things that you need to work on and release, you are going to use a round table session. Of course, most people pay fifty, hundred thousand dollars for a mastermind, and then you just have to listen to all the crap that other people want to fix in their life. That's a waste of money and time, and they don't have any freaking clue what a mastermind is. 
they think that's the most line. And then end of the day, they just shovel the bill towards you because they're already flat broke and losers. And you become the average of your five best friends, right? <laughs> because you can better show you with like-minded, positive people. And that's what I really enjoy in gin every day and every way. I can choose my extended family. You can pick your own extended family. If your family is not for you, you can have the gin family that you can choose that are for you. And keep in mind, you don't want people with you because they just wait, dead weight on your shoulders. You want people that are for you every day and every day. Very, very important. Make it happen. There's fruit loose, dance, sing, express, paint, because you want to remember that you are an almighty, powerful creator every day in every way. Let's get some water. The will always work. Good, good. Just place your hands on your heart for a moment. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Take another deep breath in. And breathe out. And just listen with all your heart. Because in the word heart is the word, word here. You are amplifying your light from within to eliminate the path for ourselves and others to follow. You are amplifying your inner light from within to eliminate the pathways for yourself and others. You are amplifying every day in every way your light from within to eliminate the pathways for yourself and others. So be there, so be it, so let it be done, and it is so. And it is so. Say thank you, bring me more. Thank you, bring me more. Thank you, bring me more. Of course, take a deep breath in. Breathe out, come back. Say thank you. If you are amplifying your inner light every day, you become that switch on the light. You walk in a room of darkness and everything, the darkness just flees away. If you become a being of light and you're committed to be a light worker and being of light because you, on the day of conception, when the little egg and the sperm mate and they connect, there's an illuminate force, a spark, and lighting created. Because you are an illuminous being. Your photoparticles dancing in pure dancing harmony of quantum consciousness every day and every way, creating your magnificent you. But how more you embrace and nurture your inner light, you can remove darkness. You walk in your family and they're all negative and you walk in and they all become happy and geekly and cheerful because you are the mover and shaker. Your presence, your, your beingness, just being there, shift everything. Uh, the gym member, he was there a little bit early because he has to leave early, you know, that can happen. And we went to a food store and he went there by himself a few times. Like, oh, that feels so bad. And I said, I want, just want to see if your level change the feeling of this negative feeling in this voodoo store, right? And I say, I just feel happy and cheerful. I don't have any influence or interference of darkness because I know I'm a beacon of light that illuminates my path and for others. And if you can understand that concept that you light is brighter, then any darkness or any negativity will just fade away. And in this moment, if that really is a part of your belief system, it's vibrating, oozing, permanently radiating 25 hours, seven days a week from you. You don't do, have to do, almost do any releasing or sessions or coaching because you have something attacking you, but it automatically dissolves and transmutes into the light. Of course, darkness comes from light. Because you're only there to say, hey, are you from pure source? And the darkness says, yes, I am. And it will remember and becomes a light and starts serving you. This being a light, being love, because of the essence of every human being, you are all knowing, all love, all light. Remember that. <laughs> Good. The quote for the week, my beloved brothers and sisters, a big part of the emotional intelligence, it's a big part of emotional intelligence is being able to feel an emotion without having to act on it. I already told you in the past, you can create your reality in the moment of now, or you can react. It's the same word, it's just a C different, right? But a lot of people say, hmm, so you don't act on the emotion? So I react to the emotion, so I create? Yes and no. There's two things that most people don't know. 
In the law of attraction, most new age teachers teach you to just be blissful, happy, excited, and feel good now. Yes, that is the first basic step because we are naturally wired to focus on the negatives. So that's a good beginning. But if you become a true master, then you can use negative feelings and emotions, anger and frustration to command the universe what you really, really want. That's why you hear in Star Wars, look, I can feel your anger, it makes you stronger. And it's true. But it only makes you stronger when you, in the moment of despair, when you're having that intense vibration of emotions and motion, you can command the universe. But it only can happen if you have a positive mindset. The other is wired to focus on the good and on the gold in the moment of time. Just that's one. Second, feeling good now, feeling better now every day, right? Second, you can choose to create and react on your emotions. It doesn't mean you stick your head and say, I'm not feeling them, no. You need to have a willingness to confront. The only question is, is this emotion serving me, helping me? What can I learn from it? Do I need to release it, let it go, transmute? Because in the 10 second miracle, you take homes and responsibility over your life, you have the opportunity to clear it and transmute it into the light and love. Very important. This is not that you're completely disengaged from things and emotions because they are a very important part for your manifest and career power part. But the magic ingredient is that instead of emotion and feelings that are ruling your life and they are in charge of your life and you become at effect, you're not at cause, right? Then those emotion feelings are not benefiting you because you lose control. That's why Napoleon Hill says very clearly, I'm the master of my faith, I'm the captain of my soul. You are the commander that commands yourself, that is in charge of your feelings and emotions. And when you start talking to your cells, you talk to yourself, you're commanding, you're not begging. If you order a chicken sandwich, can I have, please have a chicken sandwich? And you're worried and doubt that the chicken sandwich will come. No, you are guaranteed the chicken salad will come, right? The same for you. It's your wish, it's your command. You have to command. Just be very clear in the process of commanding things in your life every day in every way and then being awareness to completely become aware which emotions feelings you have in the amount of time because they can be an amazing catalyst to amplify your manifestation power very very powerful concept another thing if you have multi personalities you're different with your wife or husband you different at work or your friends you behave differently also then for the love tracks, it's very challenging to give what you want because maybe character A is wanting a red Ferrari, character B want a black Ferrari and character C and you want a yellow Ferrari. And the universe, I'm confused, who is placing the order, right? Just be, when you're placing the order, be you. Remember for who you are, who are you is so important every day to ask yourself, right? This, you command, you give the orders, you be in charge, we at cause, you take homes and responsibility, you're in the moment now, in the present, where you create your future in that miracle moment, you have to be in charge of feelings and emotions. But there's a big challenge that most people don't know. Of course, what is a feeling, what is an emotion? Most people, they, they stick them on one stack. You say, oh, they're all the same, you know. Just, just ponder for a moment, think for a moment, go slow. What's the difference between a feeling and an emotion? Do you know the difference? Did you ever been thinking about it or have an awareness of it? Did you do some research? Did you do some thinking? Maybe talking with some brothers and sisters that are like-minded and see what you can get out of it. I can assure you, most of you are thinking that feelings and emotions are the same thing. They're not. Thoughts are here, but really they're in the mind, but then they are expressed in the brain. And then your feelings are in your heart, and then your pelvic is your emotions, right? You can find it back all in the gene webinars. It's all there. But in daily life, you have to have an awareness of the difference in feelings and emotions. Of course, it's useful to remember that emotions control your behavior and actions and, it, and this is turning effect or thinking and feelings. Just 
it's useful to remember that an emotion controls our behavior and actions, and this in turn affects our thinking and feeling. Dus it is useful to remember that emotions control our behavior and actions. Thus, in turn, affects our thinking and feelings. That's why when people are very wealthy, they don't oscillate in aggressive and body expressions. Of course, they are able to express themselves. They having the mastering of the verbal advantage. Instead of I'm angry, I'm peeved or slightly peeved. They're using words to disengage the energy, but not in project it to the other person. Of course, average people only use 250 words a day to express themselves. More educated people, or people that are very know of the language, they use hundreds, thousands of words every day to express themselves. Big difference. Thus, let's dig in in the feeling and emotion, because you may be hmm, I don't know, right? <laughs> and that's a big question. Because if you understand this concept between the difference between feeling and emotions, you can amplify the law of attraction beyond your wildest, wildest dreams. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. I have a favorite amazing dreams. But that happens with feeling and emotions. <laughs> this every vibration you transmit is being attracted to you. The speed at which you will receive what you are transmitting is determined on what three factors? The intensity of your transmission, how often you transmit it, and that frequency, right? How often you transmit that frequency, and if there's any resistance. So if you feel really good, but there's an emotion in the background running that's the resistance, then your broadcasting power is less intense. Because you have resistance, and resistance is your biggest, biggest holdback to manifest your dreams and desires. Your resistance of your belief, your programs, your apostles, your habits that run 24 hours, 7 days a week in your subconscious. Thus, it's very important to, to amplify and in, intensify your transmission and that you transmit often that frequency and also removing the resistance. But it can also become an enable for you to become more aware of what is a feeling and emotion, right? Because you don't know, you don't know where you need to work on what needs to be cleared or released, or where you have to put and send light to and love and compassion. Very, very powerful. Thus, what is the difference, again, between feeling and emotions? You didn't even ponder the question. You're not concentrating, you're not focused, you're not in the present moment, you are rushing, you think the secret will be revealed somewhere in this video. Go back in, go to the question. What's the difference, difference between a feeling and emotion? Think, ponder, go deep, go within. The only moment you have is the moment of now. And the biggest liberation that will set you free is the journey within. We are so distracted these days with all the entertainment outside of us that we forget for who we are. Go back. What's the difference between a feeling and emotion? Speak out loud, express yourself. Go ahead. You will get cognitions. Thank you. This is a definition in the dictionary. None, the general state of consciousness, considering independently of a particular sensation through a thought, an emotion, perception, or attitude. Therefore, a feeling is an interpretation of an emotion, and in this response, part of you on by the situation or experience, in presentation of perception. This is very important to understand. If you didn't understand me, because <laughs> I was having fun with my uh, spoken word. But if you see that Katie says over and over again in the audios, stop the tape. If you don't understand the difference between emotion, look it up. Do some research, because if you just continue with that experience, my beloved brother and sister, you cannot get getting the result that you desire because you don't have an awareness or knowingness, you don't integrate, you don't understand the concept. It's not a part of you. And then you just continue and then you, your, that word is 
where the secret was hidden. But you just, oh, this, it's, I will find it somewhere, you know. Because our span, attention span is very short, these tests, right? Especially in the millennials in the US. They're very funny. <laughs> just keep in mind that the feeling and emotion are two different parts. And I want you to do this week more research on it because I'm going to show you a table that you give more clarity on the difference. And if you understand this concept, you become more aware of your own feelings and emotions, how you express yourself, how you can use those feelings and emotions to create and manifest your reality faster you can ever imagine. It's very, very powerful. Okay, let's see. Before we go there, my beloved brothers and sisters, rather than being your thoughts and emotions, be aware behind them. Just rather than being your thoughts and emotions, be the awareness behind them. I already told you, it's very important, my brothers and sisters, to become more aware of your feelings, thoughts, and emotions. Of course, when you become more self-aware, you can address any things that are not in harmony or coherence with you. And when you pay attention, you take care of it, you remove resistance. So whatever you want to manifest becomes easy and effortly. That's why we shared last week in the webinar how to confront the worst case scenario. Most people don't want to deal with that kind of crap because it's not their preference. Of course, they only look for the good and then the gold. But if you're more developed and more well-trained to gene training, a worst-case scenario drill is very, very important because you remove all the resistance because the magic is you don't let anyone outside of you doing all the magic, you doing the work. Because ultimately, you listen to yourself. Thus, rather than being your thoughts and emotions, be the awareness behind them. Become aware of your feelings and emotions. Very, very important that you need to consider. So I'm going to show you a table that probably will blow your mind. You will get some aha moments, you know, in this table. And you get to say, hmm, I really have to be more aware from today forward for the rest of my life. Five minutes to learn, lifetime to master, right? About emotions and feelings. So here we are. Emotions, they are, are the past. The feeling is in the present moment. Emotion, disconnection, feeling connected. Emotion, you always want, always look on the lack of things. Feeling, I'm feeling, you always keep the door open and always look, there's more than a month of prosperity around you. Emotion, lack of eye contact, you don't want to be connected with people because you feel emotions that are not serving you. You're not willing to confront. Feeling, easy eye contact. Emotion, the others always want. Prepare to change. You open for change. Because feeling is in the heart. Emotion is in the pelvic for survival, right? Discussions, emotions. Taking notes of own feeling. Being aware, being in the present moment. Everything is created in the moment of now, 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 now. Logic comes in play in the emotion side. When you go in feeling peaceful within your own body. It means you're in charge, you're in control of your life. You know you cannot control any outside influencer, but you know that you are in charge of your life. And then in that return, you will be more calm and at peace. Emotion, you're exhausted. If you're in the feeling scale, you're lively and alive. I'm alive, I'm alert, I feel great. Emotion, a curse. You let other people have power over you, control over you. And you let whatever curse they put on you, you say, you wish you command, I will obey, I will conceive. Of course, no one has power over you, but if you allow it, then emotion will come for most of your curse. And they can hunt you down for the rest of your life. Some people will say, I'm going to move out of my family house, and I'm going to build my own life, and then they will not be influenced on my life. Yes and no. Most time, your parents are still living in your house, because you have not let go of the emotions and feeling that are not serving you, right? In the emotion side, loneliness. In the feeling side, you have intimacy and closeness, right? And then the re on the emotion, revenge. Because in emotions, you do foolish things. You're in survival mode. You're not in feeling. You're thriving, right? And then if you're in the feeling side, you're in the heart space. 
emotion, ego. Feeling side, you're confident, you're cocky, you're a prima donna. And in emotion, you're in doubt, yeah? negative goal setting, focus what you don't want, feeling, trust, you know that everything's gonna work out for its highest good. You have faith for the things unseen. You have unwavering faith. You know, you trust that everything is there orchestrated for your highest good. And if you understand those differences with feelings and emotion, and once you really, 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 really do more research on that, you will be so empowered that will boggle your mind. Of course, if you already have multiple personalities, friends, family, work, organizations where you're part of, and you're, you're not your true self, because you try to blend in so you are liked and appreciated for who you really not are, right? Of course, you want to be the chameleon in there, so you are fitting in. Thus, you are compromising your own true identity to just be loved and appreciated. But really, you have a masquerade on you're just a flake. You're just fake on that moment because you believe that you need to be liked by them. But if you ultimately right, engage, you can be you and then the people that surround you are people that appreciate for who you are in your trueness for who you really are, your original, authentic, true self. And then you already know that those friends are really for you and not just with you because they are supporting you because they know for who you are and they can feel your essence. Whatever you do, it's with the highest ethic, ethically love and compassion towards all you meant in all sentient beings on this planet. That's the big difference. Just do homework between feelings and emotions. Make a commitment today. Become aware. Make a little journey, a journal in your, in your diary, right? You write down which feelings and emotion occurs through the days. Of course, there really are only fear and love. There are only two emotions. And then man-made, we, we generated, according to Mortis, we have more than 200 emotions. But they all come off from fear and love. Fear, fear of the unknown, fear of the uncertainty, love, all-knowing, the truth will set you free, I love myself like I love my neighbor, right? That is happening when you truly love yourself, fall in love with yourself, say, I really, deep down inside, I really love myself, and you fall in love with you. Of course, everything is selfish, end of the day. But if you really, really love of yourself, you can give so much more, because if you don't love yourself, you have nothing else to give. Love, 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 every day in all your, your ethics, your movement, your, your inter interaction with other people. Be compassionate, be love. Even the ones that are finally attacking you. Of course, they are your greatest teachers. Of course, it's their story, but it, their story is as a reminder for you that you still have some work to do internally. Just be thankful, be grateful, be appreciated. Give thanks to the moment that is happening. Only if you allow them to have power over you, you losing and disconnect yourself from source and they become more connected with source or darkness, whatever they path they choose, right? So that's very, very important. I'm going to go more deeper on that next week for you. That will definitely give you more clarity. Of course, there's, there's nothing wrong to create out of fear and greed and it's probably fine to create out of love. But you have to find harmony. If you, you produce a manifest, a manifesting and creating out of greed and fear, you know, I have to kill or beat up that person or destroy him so I can have more, that will come back to you. You will become a hollow shell and empty and then you have to use all the money and prosperity you have. You need all the money to take care of your health later on in life because you're not nurturing and loving your core, your beingness, your love and light, your essence for who you are, the love creation. This is probably fine in the once in a while use that but not become like a junkie that you need that next rush the next object external affiliation of things to make you happy or buy stuff and goods or you need to be appreciated by your friends you know say, oh you look amazing and all those things and you need to hear that to feel good then you're constantly at a fact you're not at cause you are not in charge and not in power of your life and then you're not the commander, you're not the ninja, the five-star general, they give orders to yourself and yourselves that speaks to your higher self, and then you can set yourself free. And when you understand this concept, you can heal your body faster than you can ever imagine. Just look today on my network cures they don't want to know about. It's something I just had to download and I released on that one. It's very profound. This can really shift your healing. 
and it was already put back to me when Katie was giving his love prayer, his blessings to all of us at one of the major events. You can listen to that for free on the gym website. Very, very powerful. This homework for you, and it's not really homework, it's something that you love that you do. Say, because I want to become the greatest version of me. So I have some questions for you, my beloved brothers and sisters, that I want you, when you write those feelings, emotions, or experience, if you feel lonely, or you feel sadness, or happy, or excited, or disappointed, whatever emotion you have, ask the following questions. Is your reaction based on the present situation, or in, is it from the past? Those questions help you to create awareness. What emotion are you feeling right now? If you're going to have a little notepad or you put it in your cell phone, and then you can look at it. Can you relate to the situation with anger and frustration? Maybe that anger feeling has nothing to do with the moment now, has to do with the past. For example, let's say I have a day with you. And... I remind you of one of your boyfriends in the past and you start attacking me on an old feeling of the past from your previous boyfriend because you bring that baggage, that BS of the belief system, that crap into our new relationship. That's why myself, I have really no interest about to talk about my past relationships. Of course, it's just bringing them back in and out, right? But in the moment when you, you or I bring it up in the conversation, we put fuel and ignite it, right? And the thing is, it's not me, but you think it's me, or I think it's you, but really it's a SEMO, a recurrent emotion thought that comes back in the mind from a previous relationship that you have not confronted and released and cleared. That's why when people break up, I say, I never, ever, ever again want that guy or girl in my life. And the next boy and girl in your life have the same characteristic. They maybe look differently, but they have the same issues because you are naturally conditioned to focus what you don't want. If you are heartbroken and you have heartache, like, oh, it's so painful, he or she broke up. If you're gin trained, you automatically command the universe who you want to have. A loving, caring, amazing, healthy, vibrating man and woman that loves and cares about, nurtures me, cares for me, supports my dreams. You scream out loud with all your anger and all your pain and all your pains and all your emotions. You scream out loud what you want. And the universe says, your wish is your command. Ask and it shall be given to you. Right? This is a very, very powerful concept. This, are your expectations realistic? Right? This is very important. That works this. What about yourself are you trying to hide? Do you use emotion feelings as an excuse? Yeah, the, the funny joke, like most women, you know, if they're not really in the mood, they say, oh, I have a headache, right? They say, oh, no worry, honey, I already prepared. I set myself to win. I already had some water and a painkiller next to it, right? <laughs> Plum salt. Let's have fun, right? Because it's already proven if people have a headache and you want to get rid of the headache, making love is one of the best medicine. It will clear the headache, guaranteed. <laughs> and for the record, I don't use real painkillers. I use an herb that is even stronger than most painkillers, but all natural and no side effects for the body. <laughs> if you want to know more about it, check out my uh, natural cures that you don't want to know about. <laughs> Good. What do you wish you had done? What should you have never done? What do you find frustrating? Are you, for example, are you patient or impatient? For example, if you are a friend and I want to build a close relationship with you, I always ask, are you patient or impatient? If you tell me, I am an impatient person, I want it now. I'm patient now. In that moment of time, I already know that you're impatient. You can have a lot of questions. There will be a lot of challenges in the relationship because you have a lot of things, emotion feelings in your rough seas in that moment of time. Because I know I'm in for a ride. But if the patient person says, I'm patient, I already know it's much smoother, more calm waters to go on. It's a great question. Are you patient, impatient? Right? So it gives you clarity. Also doing your feelings and frustrations, right? What are you obsessed about? Is this obsession serving you? Did you ever consider it? Of course, most of your dreams, 
90% of your dreams are not your dreams. The other people's dreams that you make true. Just 90% of your dreams on your dream book and dream board are not your dreams. 90% of your thinking is not your belief system. The other people's belief system you have conceived and believe that there are, that is you. It's not you. The clothes I wear, I don't know, it's really me. Of course, it was already pre-created in advance. And then I believe this is my identity. But it's just the character play that we do. But ask yourself, is this really me, the clothes? Do you feel good in the clothes? What, if, what kind of emotional feelings you have in the clothes you wear? Special if you're a woman and you're not happy about your body because it's so conditioned that you dislike your body in social media and the systems. Just for one week, go naked, look in the mirror. Observe every five you've been. I know there will be a lot of emotion, feelings will be released in the moment, but if you confront those feelings and emotions, you're gonna love every fiber of your divine, gorgeous body. You are perfect, you are beautiful, you are enough. Don't listen to all the programs that are running in you that you are not good enough or not beautiful or perfect. That's just an illusion. But if you confront yourself for seven days, look yourself completely naked with no clothes on, every five you've been, just look in the mirror and just enjoy it. It will be a roller coaster ride, but you may scream, but it will clear and release the feeling emotions about yourself. And your self confidence your self-love will go skyrocket. And now the option you can do, is if you don't want to go to a roller coaster, you can pick the swan boat. It's your choice, 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 right? But make a decision. <laughs> Good. And is someone else doing things differently than what you want, right? That's, that's always a biggie. Duplicate, replicate. Something that I want you to do some research on. Can you, and always, in that moment of time, be an observer in appreciation. Right? Just do some homework. I highly endorse you. Write down all those questions. Right? Write them down. And start applying them for the coming seven days. Of course, if I give you nugs of gold and you do not take the action, and just, oh, I know it, I got it, you know. You're not willing to learn, you're not teachable, you're not coachable, right? This is very important every day in every way. Good, just uh, make that commitment for yourself. To be honest, I care when other much, it's your life, but if you want to really become the master of creation, the master of making the life you always dreamed of, it's your choice. You have the power to make things happen. No one can do it for you, that no one comes by to save you. You have to save you from your own belief, your programs, your habits, your beliefs over yourself, and what you want to be and create in your reality every day, in every way. I'm just a messenger, I'm just a facilitator. Katie says it over and over again. I'm not the source of inf information. I'm not the owner of this information. N all information shared everywhere, no one is the owner. It's all from source. It cannot be owned, it cannot be copyrighted, and none of that. That is just great, you know. Oh, I need to copyright and trademark it because it's mine. Because I can make money. Richard Brittard, 95% of his trainings are free. But he still makes millions of dollars of income a year about the seminars and trainings, right? It's all a state of being because end of day, it's who you become. Emotions are human Emotions are human beings' warning systems. Those emotions are human beings' warning systems as to what is really going on around them, but most important, inside of them. Emotions are mostly reliable indicators of how things are and going on in our lives. Emotions help you to keep us on the right track by making sure that we are led by more than mental electrical faculties of thought, preparation, reasons of memory, right? So I'm going to show you, <laughs> because I'm so excited today, because I have so much massive downloads uh, ever, all, all the time before the Gini fans. It's just mind-boggling. There's emotions are human beings, warning systems as to what is really going on around them. Emotions are our most reliable indicators of how things are going on in our lives. Emotion help 
to keep us on the right track by making sure that we are led by more than the mental, intellectual faculties of thought, perception, reasoning, and memory. Got it. Think about it. Analyze it. What did you get out of it? What did you like the most? One thing. You. Yes, you. Everything that you perceive outside of you is a reflection of your inner world. Just be thankful for what happens outside of you, because if you don't have an awareness within you, then the outside world, the reality, will show you puzzle piece, a glimpse that you need to work on. That's why myself, I'm in stillness and nothingness. Just, I'm just in a pure blissful state, 24 hours, 7 days a week. I never have a bad day. But thanks to my surroundings, I become awareness of things in my life that I need to work on. That's why I give seminars and trainings all around the world because through you, you my soundboard, my feedback mechanism, see, ah, I was not aware of it. Now I need to, need to work on that or I love to work on that or I admire to work on that because it's exchange of abundance, right? Very, very powerful concept. Just really, you think outside influence are affect you negatively? No, it's really happening within you. The world is within you. You are the universe, the universe is you. But the outside influence, that is what we first believe is real, we start fighting the outside things and control and change we have no control over. It starts with you. You have to change your inner world. When you change the world within you, the world around you will change instantly. Especially in your family line, if you change your DNA vibration, your bloodline, your connecting family, you will upgrade your mommy, dad, and all newborn children for seven generations. You can break the curse, the spell, the karma that is in your family. It starts with one family member only. If there is more in the journey, how fast do you can clear and release the BS that is holding your family back? But start with one person. We have to bear in mind at all times that we cannot change the deep emotional unconscious state, it is always and will be there. It is be, <laughs> it is by coming more aware of why they are there and that we can reframe our perspective and learn to understand and trust our feelings more. If we do not, our situation can finally become destructive, right? <laughs> so that's very important. Let's move me here. Just, we have to bear in mind at all times that we cannot change the deep emotion in an unconscious state. We should not have no awareness, right? You have to become aware of it. That's what the gin train is all about. Become aware of your challenges, issues, and things, feelings, and emotions out of you. It is and always will be there. It is by becoming more aware of why they are there. The big why, the 99% of success is your why, the feelings and emotions, your attitude of gratitude. That we can reframe our perspective and learn to understand and trust our feelings more. If we do not, a situation can finally become destructive. Because when you trust, you're in your heart. Your heart doesn't con condemn and criticize. And only you connect the your heart with the mind and melt together. So you use logic and reasoning with feeling, not the emotions that destroy most of our experiences, right? They're destructive. You can really set yourself free when you connect those forces together. And that will be amazing shift in your life. Good. Close your eyes, my beloved brother and sister. Take a deep breath in by looking up to the crown of your head. Hold it. And breathe out. Relax your eyes. Take another deep breath in by looking up to the crown of your head. Hold it. And breathe out. Relax your eyes. Take another deep breath in by looking up to the crown of your head. Hold it. And breathe out, relax your eyes. Keep your eyes closed for a moment. Open your eyes and read with me out loud. I am entering this new year with renewed focus, vision and passion as never before that I am now. And it is so. I am the light, the light I am.
again. I am entering this new year with renewed focus, vision, and passion. Yes, I am. I am entering this new year with renewed focus, vision, and passion. Yes, I am. I am entering this new year with renewed focus, vision, and passion. Yes, I am. I'm entering this new year with renewed focus, vision, and passion. Yes, I am. I'm entering this new year with renewed focus, vision, and passion. Yes, I am. I am entering this new year with renewed focus, vision, and passion. Yes, I am. I'm entering this new year with renewed focus, vision, and passion. Yes, I am. Breathe in. Put all that vibration into your beingness, permeate, radiating, oozing out of you, purifying, letting go that no longer serves you. Close your eyes. Embrace this feeling of this entering this new year. You feel renewed, focused, your vision, your passion is true. You permeate, oozing, radiating, oozing out of you every day in every way. Passion, vision, focus. You're focused towards your dreams, your desires, your goals, you make things happen. That's it, period. It's your time to shine. You're brighter, you shine, you're illuminate, luminous being. You're almighty, omnipotent, powerful creator. It's your time. It's your time. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Say it. Do it now. I'm going to do it. That's it, period. I'm doing it. That's it, period. I'm doing it. That's it, period. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. All right, my beloved brothers and sisters, it was an honor to have you this week. I'm looking forward to seeing you after the Global Leadership Celebration. You're still welcome to join us, to come by, check out the live stream, the photos, tap into the five, integrate, and every day in every way, have an attitude of gratitude, step into your greatness, because you and only you can make your life change. But the question is, are you willing to confront what your willingness to change your life, what your willingness to change, what your willingness to learn new things that can make things happen? And be, understand, and be now here. It takes time, delay gratification. You have to move forward every day and every way. Of course, creators never win and winners never quit. You are born to win because you are a luminous spark on Dave Conception. You are the strongest swimmer. You're here for a reason. It's time for you to do something greater, better with your life than you can ever imagine. I will say to all of you, have a beautiful day. I love you with all my heart and soul. Till we meet again for another amazing The Yarn Experience. I'm glad with all of you to co-create that finest every day and every way. Have a good one. Ciao. Love you for all my heart and soul. <laughs> You're amazing. You're my biggest inspiration every day in every way. Love you guys and girls. Mm.